So I'm now I'm here now with um, Paran Umar Tarawali, who is the clerk of Parliament. Mr. Tarawali, can you tell us how you really feel being the clerk of Parliament? Um, mixed feelings. Firstly, I am happy because I'm picking up at a time when Parliament needs to move. Sierra Leone needs to move in making sure this happens. So what do we expect from you in the next five years? Well, in the next five years, I think I'll strengthen the administration of parliament. I'll make sure say, I restore the dignity of members of parliament. I'll equally make sure that whatever administrative functions are allotted to parliament are executed in the interest of the state. So how do you plan to work with um, fellow parliamentarians here? Yeah, um, members of parliament, of course, look up to the clerk's office for administrative support, technical support, etc. And I'm preparing a very big package for them. Let them be rest assured that I will ensure that their research problems are over, that um, all the issues relating to development and capacity building will be addressed, and equally the backstop support, which each member of parliament requires in order to effectively function as a representative of the people is carried out to the letter. Thank you very much. That was Paran Omar Tharawali, who is the clerk of parliament. And we'll join you soon as we have other interviews coming up. I think there are challenges in this ahead of us. And I'm looking forward for that. Okay, you've been in the top ranks of the political wing before. How do you feel coming into parliament now? I think these are the most exciting days, moments of my life to be a member of parliament where you sit down and talk on issues without having the fear of somebody looking behind you. I will be representing my people, Constituency 66, and I will do so for their own interest. Everything that um, we are going to discuss here has to center around the development of our country. So as a member of parliament for the opposition, how do you plan to work with the ruling um, party now, now that they are in parliament? How do you plan to work with them to ensure a better Sierra Leone? Yes, to ensure a better Sierra Leone. Anything that's better Sierra Leone, we are in for that. We are not going to be members of parliament just for the sake of being members of parliament. We are here representing our people, devoid of our political affiliation, either the government or the opposition. Anything that gears to us national interest for the betterment of Mama Sierra Leone, I am in for that. Thank you very much. That was Mohamed Bangura, who is a member of Parliament. So, um, this is FTN, and we're here live at the launch and induction ceremony of the members of Parliament for 2018. And we're here with a member of Parliament. Can you tell us your name, sir? My name is Honorable Alex Matia Rujas, representing Constituency 102 in the Puget on this street. Uh, indeed, I'm a new member. So how do you feel um, being here as a new member of parliament? Well, I feel very much delighted and uh, the induction is a learning process. I learn a lot and uh, I'm here to work in the interest of this country. Okay, thank you very much. We have more interviews coming your way. Freetown Television Network, I'm here with uh, Mr. Alpha Timbo, who is the youngest member of parliament that we have for 2018. Mr. Timbo, can you tell me exactly how you feel being the youngest member of parliament? Um, well, firstly, I think we need to check our ages whether I'm the youngest. I know I have the youngest looking face, but I don't know whether I'm the youngest, but um, we'll confirm that. But um, I'm excited generally for the fact that uh, my people in my constituency thought it fit that I should be the one who should represent them for the next five years. I'm excited. I'm also anxious. I want to see what's going to happen in Parliament. I want to do the best to serve my conscience, to serve my country and to serve my people. So how do you plan to work with other parliamentarians for a better Sierra Leone? For me, we are all here as Sierra Leoneans in the first place. There's no one here who's a foreigner. So I see us all as one. The time for politics is over. So we have a parliament. We're the, the, the legislative arm of government. We make laws. We represent the people. We seek their interests. So in my dispensation here, I don't think I will be looking just at political lines. I will be looking at the interests of Sierra Leone and putting it um, ahead of any other thing. Okay, thank you very much. Usman okay, Abdul Timbo, thank you very much. And we're still here, we have an interview with 
Thomas Mokonte, Acting Executive Director of Citizens Advocacy Network. So you're here being part of the launch. Um, what can you gather so far from the launch? Well, um, as a civil society advocate, we believe that it is part of the mandate of Parliament to orientate their members, especially when they are set to take up the owner's responsibility of providing representation, oversight, and of course, legislating for our land. And it is very proper that they are well abreast with the rudiments of Parliament so as to place them in a comfortable position to perform their mandate. So what do you expect from Parliament in the next five years? We expect Parliament, of course, part of the functions of Parliament is to legislate oversight and of course to provide representation. We expect them to be very committed to some of these core values, to provide representation for their constituents in a very democratic manner and um, to also legislate give Sierra Leoneans legislations that are very up-to-date and that would actually reflect the wishes and aspirations of the people of this country and to provide oversight where are, we are needed because we know that um, Parliament has got the duty to over, over, oversee a lot of institutions and um, at the end of the day, they have a mandate to also report to the people. So they have this duty and we look up to them. We are very hopeful that they will provide us with the kind of representation, oversight and um, 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 legislation that we expect them to provide us as members of the legislation. Okay, thank you very much. This is Freetown Television Network. Stay tuned for more updates. And he is now here as a member of parliament. Mr. Yumkela, can you tell us how you really feel about To be the servant of the people, um, we are getting orientation now to understand our role in Parliament. I am here with my colleagues from Cambia, uh, Honorable Fode Mario, Honorable Abdul Kamara, famously called Tito, and uh, Honorable Baisama. So we're all excited to be here. Mr. President, how can you implement these programs and plans you have? Well, we believe in collaboration. As you see, we don't have our own form of constructive opposition. So we plan to work with the ruling party to push programs and policies on education, on health care, on agriculture and economic reforms and jobs yeah, and other fields. So we'll work with the ruling party because we want those good policies that will move the nation forward. We will also collaborate very strongly with the opposition parties to oppose anything we believe is not in the interest of Sierra Leone. So we'll be very constructive. We'll, we'll build bridges. I want the citizens to understand that being in opposition does not mean you're always opposing. We really want to work with government because we need to help them move the nation forward. So we'll start a philosophy of constructive opposition. So how do you really plan to work with the ruling government? Give us instances. We'll try to understand from the government their, what they call their legislative uh, portfolio the policies they want to bring so we have time to contribute to them or we'll read their manifesto we also had a manifesto we see some commonalities if you read our money some aspects of our manifesto slpp apcp c 4 c you'll see some areas where we have common ground as as a small party we'll try to convince them that we can all collaborate to move those agendas forward but also we will help the government understand what we call red lines things that we will oppose because we have a philosophy as a party we'll work with them as well to bring development to our our district we 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 are four out of six mps from that district we also have the uh, council so we want to see support to that district it's one of the poorest in the country to see how we promote development there so in everything you say you oppose oppose so what are the key things you think you have to oppose in this House of Parliament? Let's wait and see. I mean, people should also read our manifesto. They will see things we care about. Accountability is a big one. Uh, accountability cuts across the board. Ministries, parastatals, but also uh, uh, um, related to environmental degradation. So, for example, we we're very happy when we saw immediately that the government stopped because where they're cutting the trees every day, killing our agriculture. So we're very pleased that immediately the president stopped that within one week. So those kinds of things we you'll see in our manifesto, 
forestry, marine resources. We care about how our natural resources and capital are used. So thank you very much. That was Kante Kola Yumkele, who was presidential candidate for the March 7 elections. And we're going back to the program. As we can see, the program is about to start. Keep watching. It is Freetown Television Network on Channel 35.